This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. I will provide you with a truck and we can pay you like from 60 cents up to 65 cents per mile and we'll try to provide you with as much miles as you can write. Welcome back drivers to the Recruiter Call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at this guy right here, uh, David Lee, a.k.a. Road Freight. Now, I'm not sure if that's the real name of the company, so let me break it down right quick. So I'm in a Facebook group, and I see this uh, guy coming up in the Facebook group posting that he needs drivers. Not saying the name or nothing like that, and a whole bunch of, of us drivers is constantly asking him like where what's the name of the company where are they out of and whatever the case from what i understood he over here saying that he needs drivers out of the ohio area right so of course i'm in there i'm reading the comments i'm you know kind of asking the same questions myself so i decided to go to this uh young man's facebook page and here it is because the company that he told me via a phone call the name of the company is road freight sounds suspect i know but i go to his page and i see nothing that says anything of a trucking company dedicated lanes with amazon uh hiring immediately he's looking for company drivers and owner operators he said that they pay 65 cent to 70 cent per mile which he told me 60 cent to 65 cent per mile uh freight liners volvos 2018 to 2023 but he told me it was 2020 uh all devices all devices for free yada yada yeah he's looking for company drivers tennessee kentucky georgia alabama available 2020 freight liner 60 to 65 cent okay same thing here looking for drivers uh contact me if you're looking for a job as a driver uh and it still don't show nothing of what's the company that he's offering like what's the name of the company where the company is located at or anything of that matter right so he hits me up in my messenger and this is before the holiday uh memorial day i think memorial day yeah this was before the holiday and he reached out to me uh, this was like May 12th at 3.42 p.m. And it goes, it says, hello, sir. I'm like, yo, what's good? Who this? He says, great, sir. So we are looking for drivers near Ohio or in Ohio. I says, what's the company name? He says, Road Freights, R-O-A-D. F R E I G H T. Let's stop the show for a minute. Let's look up because when I when when I looked up Road Freights, when 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 I was looking the company up, I couldn't find nothing on them. There we go. I said Road Freight Ohio. Uh, Road Road Freights road freights showing results for road freights freight amazon.com dhl freight Sivina logistics uh pro connect what is road freight what is road freight nothing nothing road freight i clicked on this one right here but that was j a s worldwide and 
is for is for JAS worldwide. But nothing. No no world freight. No no nothing. I can't find nothing on this company. Nothing at all, as you guys can see. So <clears throat> let's get back at it. So he says, are you living near Ohio? We have available positions. New trucks Cascadia is 2020. I said, I said, is the company out of Ohio? And how long have it been in existence? Now, listen, here's red flag number one. Give me your number and my manager will call you and explain. I says, let me have your number and I will call you. I said, so he gives me his number, right? I says, so you're the manager? He says, yes. But a couple of texts earlier, you says, your manager would give me a call. So what? You so you was going to give me a call? Why you couldn't just say, "Well, give me your number and I will give you a call." You said you're a manager and I asked if you're the manager and you said yes. So why would you say I'll I'll have my manager to call you if you're already the manager? You see how that sounded to me? It sounds suspectish, right? I said, I'll call you in a bit. I said, uh, if I don't get in contact with you today, I will get in contact with you over the holiday. He says, in that case, leave me your number and I will be in touch with you. I said, nah, nah, nah. I'll call you. I said, I'll call you after the holiday. 72 hours late. All right. So here we go. The day after the holiday, he reached back out to me. He said, hello, sir, with a question mark. He says, will you call or have you found the job already? I'm like, I said, yo, I'll call shortly. All right. So is this well, who is this? Because I was talking to some, I was talking to somebody in the, uh, in the uh, messenger. So is this who I was talking to? So yes, it's me. Yes, it's me, David. I just talked with you in Facebook. Okay, okay. So the the name of the company, what? Uh, Road Freight. So it's Sima. What is it? Mm-hmm. Yes, 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 yes. You're right. So is is Road Freight out of Ohio, right? Mm -hmm. So what mm -hmm. so what would be my responsibilities as a driver there? Well I will provide you with a truck and we can pay you like from sixty cents up to sixty five cents per mile and we'll try to provide you with as much miles as you can write. Okay. I I am having a hard time following your accent. So can you do me a favor and repeat what you just said? So I said, like, if you work with us, we'll just try to provide you with a good truck and you'll just drive this truck for 60 cents if you want. So oh. it's going to be okay for you, like 60 cents per mile. Okay. So if I'm trying to follow you, you're, you're offering a truck or offering the offering me to drive for you at 60 cent a mile? Yes. Okay, so what lanes that you have uh, and do you run Canada? No, we don't run to Canada, sir. So what, what lanes do you guys have or what lanes are y'all offering? So we have dedicated lanes, but we can for you to get lanes after you work with us like at least three weeks because we have to check you all your skills and all the things like we have to make sure that you can work with us and after that we can work with you with get lanes okay so i so so when i come in if i'm following you correctly i will have to pretty much run uh i will pretty much have to run where you guys dispatch me at and then after two weeks 
then I will be able to choose my own area or own region that I want to run. No, we can like we have different lands to Kentucky, to Ohio, Indiana, Tennessee, and to to different lands as you after two weeks that you're working with us. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, how much experience are you looking for? Like it's gonna be like at least one year. Okay, okay. All right. So one year, one year of experience. All right. So. Is this a uh, W2 or is this 1099? It's a 1099, sir. So this is 1099. So I'm coming in as a company driver under 1099 mm -hmm. requirements. Mm -hmm. Why why not just why why I can't be W2? I don't know because it's a kind of not my deal like my manager decided to do it as the owner of company like it's a 1099 and it's in other companies as well in other in other words i'm responsible for all my taxes all my benefits and all like that pretty much am i responsible am i responsible for any payment on a truck like escrow or anything like that Yes, we have a scrub, but it's going to be like only for four weeks, and per week it's going to be like $375 per week, and it's going to be like only four weeks. And after that, no escrow will be taken from you, and in case of you deciding to leave us, we will just return all the money to you immediately. Okay, wait, how much a week? $375. $8,000. Three hundred seventy-five. Oh, three hundred and seventy-five dollars. Yes. For four, yes, so yes, yes. three hundred and seventy-five dollars that you guys taking from me for escrow for four weeks, right? Yes. Yes. And that is taken out because if I decide to leave, y'all had to take over the truck. How how long would it be before I get my money back? Like, look, we are doing escrow in order to, like, be in a safe because some of the drivers are stealing our devices, like Sinsula and all other kinds also. So that's why we're kind of doing escrow. And if you, so look, you will just pay $375 per week, only for a week. And after that, no, escrow will be taken from you. And if you decide to leave us, we will just return all of your money immediately. I mean, it's going to take, like, one day maximum. Okay, so what's the uh, so you already told me that that you're offering six zero per mile, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so yes. I'm, I'm I'm racking my brain here because as as a as a veteran driver as myself, I got seven years of experience. That's all you can offer me at ten ninety nine and six sixty cent a mile. Like we can do like we can do like sixty five cents. 65 cents so you can only go up five more cents for me at at mm -hmm. as a 1099 driver i mean you mm -hmm. you you do yeah. real you do realize i'm i'm taking on the responsibilities of what you guys supposed to be taking on and y'all only offering me 65 cent a mile i got something for you yeah what do we got to do? Got a lot of both. Money one, 25 dollars. You get 500 each. 500? Eh? That's great, eh? You gotta be kidding. 500? Who do you think we are? Baggage handlers? The Boeing rate on a boat is a thousand or nine, man. You know that. So you can just tell me all that. You have one work with us or not. And that's it, brother. So if you want to work with us, just tell me. If you don't want, just have a nice day. That's it. Well, no, I'm not trying to be. Uh, okay, bro. I'm. I'm just. I'm just trying to get a little bit more. You know, focus on what you're offering because you reached out to me. I didn't reach out to you. I'm returning your call. I'm just trying to see what you guys got to offer. I already said. I, I already told our office to you, brother. So 
you decide like you want to work with us or not you have a lot of drivers so that's why if you want to work with us you're welcome if you don't want have a nice day that's it brother okay well okay well uh, uh, what's the name of the company again roll freight roll freight right out of ohio roll freight i just want to make sure you you roll freight out of ohio right Okay, so much for that. All right. <laughs> there you have it, man. Road freight, I guess. Road freights, I guess. This this don't sound like a reputable company to me. Do it sound like a reputable company to you from, from the conversation that we had, which wasn't uh, which wasn't uh very long it was very short i mean the accent was like super thick and i could barely understand what he was uh what he was saying but from the little bit that i did get out of that let me let let, let me break it down to you guys all right let me break it down to you right quick so the part that that kind of messed my head up was you offering 60 cent per mile as a 1099 driver. Now, if you guys don't know what 1099 is, you know, if you've been following me, you should know what's the difference between W2 and 1099. In this case, he wants you to be a independent contractor working as a company driver making 60 cent Per mile. But he also said because of my quote unquote experience, I will be getting 65 cent a mile. Sir, 65 cent a mile? Are you serious as a 1099 driver? Come on, bro. Come on. Come on, bro. You got to be kidding me, right? The going rate as a 1099 driver is at least 75 or up you know this man what do you what, what do you think we are what do you some some truck drivers that you could take advantage of i got something for you yeah what do we got to do got a lot of both money one 45 dollars you get 500 each 500 eh? that's great eh? you gotta be kidding 500 who do you think we are, baggage handlers? The going rate on a boat is a thousand on my rate. You know that. So that's how they treating us out here, guys. That's how they treating us out here. They they treating us like baggage handlers, second class citizens. You know, just taking full advantage of our naiveness. Bro, let me tell you right quick. My name's Lockout Man. I've been doing this for over seven years, my guy. You can't get over on me on this. I'm not a new driver. I'm a new driver advocate. I advocate for new drivers so they won't get up, so they won't get caught up in BS like this, man. Ain't no way that anybody, that any driver should be 1099 making 60 or 65 cent a mile. That's company driver status, bro. Major mega carriers is starting drivers at 60 cent a mile, my guy. I'm a company driver and I make way more than that. So you mean to tell me that any see what you're looking for is new naive drivers. That's why you're not pushing the company name that's why you're not coming on there you trying to entice people with oh we got new trucks and your trucks is not even new 2020 that's three years old my guy that's not new trucks i don't know what you guys i don't know what you black ops companies out here trying to do man Y'all put drivers in a situation that gets them in their feelings and when we get in our feelings Bad things happens. 65 cent a mile, man. That's a slap in the face as a 1099 driver. 
And you over here talking about escrow? $375? Are you serious? Escrow? Now, if we quit or try to give you a two-week notice, then you say you claim that we will get our money back quick, fast, in a hurry. But see, as you guys know, every time that I talk to these black ops companies like this, you see how they get in their feelings? And then he's like, oh, well, you can either, you can either drive force if you don't want to drive force. I'm like, sir, I'm, you, you reached out to me, bro. I didn't reach out to you. You reached out to me. You came into our Facebook group. You came in trying to trying to falsify what you doing. David. Or whatever your name is. Road Freight. That don't even sound like a legitimate name. We can't even find you on the web, bro. Can't even find Road Freight on Facebook a safer score we couldn't even find that so you come back in my in my messenger right reckless at the mouth bro reckless at the mouth so i says so that's how you talk to drivers when drivers want to know about your company from this call sir this company's this company just kind of feels suspicious but you know what though i will let my network of drivers know about this company before they make their decision with you before they make that call because see drivers take what this channel is they 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 take our they they take our word for for when we talk to companies such as yourself sir so you come back reckless. You says, I explained our offer for you four times, sir. It's not my fault that you can't understand simple things. Simple things? Simple things like what, sir? Simple things that you're trying to get over on a, on a driver of my caliber by telling me that you're going to offer me 65 cent a mile as a 1099 driver? That simple thing? You, 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 you over here saying that we will provide you with a Cascadia 2020 truck and you will drive for us for 65 cent a mile and we will provide you with as much miles as you can ride. Really? Who do you think we are? Baggage handlers? What's the name of the company, sir? What's, what's your DOT number? What's your safer score? What's your FMCSA score? What's... What's, what's your uh, safer report, man? How many drivers do you actually have on your roster? Where's the company located at? These is questions that we need to know, bruh. These is questions that we need to know. We need to know these things. Because, see, black ops companies like yourselves come up into Facebook groups and try to take advantage of naive drivers by by offering subpar wages bro without taking the responsibility you want us to take the responsibility and you're going to pay us cheap labor again bro what do you think we are baggage handlers who do you think we are baggage handlers again bro you know the going rate for 10.99 is is at least on the low end 75 cent maybe on a better day it could be like 80 hell prime lease drivers is making a dollar i mean making a dollar more a mile bro i got something for you yeah what do we gotta do got a lot of both money one 25 dollars you get 500 each 500 eh? that's great eh? you gotta be kidding <laughs> Who do you think we are? Baggage handlers? The going rate on a boat is a thousand a night, man. You know that. And you want us, you want us to be a 1099 independent contractor so we could take responsibility of all our of all our uh issues 
and you don't have none, but yet you're going to offer us 65 cent a mile. Drivers, what do you guys think about that? How do you feel about that, man? How do you feel about these type of companies or this guy? How do you feel about this guy just coming up into Facebook and taking advantage of you drivers? Let me know in the comments. But, uh, but before you let me know in the comments below, let me know if you know anything about this guy. If you know anything about road freight or this guy, David Lee, because I can't find nothing else about him. I can't. The only thing I got is his profile on Facebook. That's it. That's it. Nothing about the company and nothing about him. No pictures, bro. No pictures. No pictures of the company. No pictures of the office. No pictures of the trucks. Only picture that we got is, is a car picture on his, on his uh, profile pic. It don't even have him on the profile. So how can we put any legitimacy in this quote unquote company? Until next time, everybody. Who's next?